Hi friends and welcome back to my channel. Today is an intro video and this is the intro to my 2024 Rolling 10 Project Pan series here on Jewel in the Rough. I am Jules. If you haven't seen a Rolling 10 Project Pan before, I've done this for the past two years, but I'll explain a little bit about how it works just for this intro. So basically, this is a panning channel. I like to use up the makeup that I have. I like to keep a smaller collection and actually get through entire products so that I can try new products, know what I like, know what I don't like, and get my money's worth on the makeup that I spend my money on. So basically, how it works is I'm gonna start with 10 products, and it's a rolling 10 project pan, meaning that as I use a product, the next month I will roll a new product in. So there's always going to be just 10 products that I'm working on at any given time, but I am constantly changing those products as I use them up and things like that. If you want to learn more about Project Pans or Rolling 10 Project Pans and who started them, I will link some videos down below of explanation and things like that and videos that I first saw, but it's pretty prolific at this point in the YouTube panning kind of community. A lot of people know what it is, but if you don't, that was a little intro for you. My goal for 2024 is to use up 24 products. If you saw my last two years of project panning, you will know that that is the running theme. I tried to finish 22 products in 2022, 23 products in 2023. So this year it's 2024. I'm going to be trying to use up 24 products. I should be able to hit that goal, but as always, it's fun to kind of go along with it. That being said, I'm gonna get into the first 10 products for my Rolling 10 project pan. You're going to recognize a few of these if you watched my panning last year, but a lot of them are going to be new and completely never before seen on this channel. I'm feeling very much a uh, winter fantasy today, this kind of blue and white vibe. I'm going ice skating today. It is New Year's Day when I'm filming this. So yeah, it is a very winter wonderland kind of-esque theme today. And I think it's a nice way to kind of, it's like a fresh, bright look to usher in the new year, which I am very, very excited about. I love starting a new project. It is like one of my favorite things. So with that, let's just get into the products. All right, to no one's surprise, the first product is of course my LFC Tati Shadow Stick. If you have been watching my channel for a while, you will recognize this little guy. I have been trying to pan this for I think like five years now. Um, I've had it for a long time. It is from LOC Love of Color, which is a company that doesn't exist anymore. And it is a collaboration that Tati did with them. Tati Beauty here on YouTube, Tati Westbrook. We love her, you know. Um, so yeah, I have been trying to finish this for literally like five years. It has been in my project panning since I started project panning. Yeah, it is getting down there. My goal this year is to just finish it. I don't even have a goal to like get to a heart or get to, here, I'll put it over here, get to a heart or get to anything. I just want to have it used up. It is so baby tiny now. I do love it. I use it as my like Cupid's bow highlight and a nose highlight. That is the only really way that I use it. So I use a little bit of it every day. I think obviously if I used it in different ways, I could probably use it up faster, but that's just how I like using it. It does have a little bit of a grayer undertone. So I don't love to use it as like a face highlight or as like an eyeshadow base or anything like that. But we will see if I can find some innovative uses for it this calendar year to try to get it completely used up because I definitely want to. All right, next up, this will be also not a surprise if you've watched my channel before, but this is my Charlotte Tilbury Pinkasm Glowgasm Wand. It's their blush from Charlotte Tilbury. And I do really like this blush. I had it in my project last year as well. And yeah, my goal is just use this up. As you can see, I've used it enough that I have taken off all of the like words on it. It is just a tube now. It's getting kind of down there. It's only to here, but I feel as though it'll last a long time just how the wand is. It's one of those like cushion wands and I feel like I'll be able to get a good amount of product out of it for a while. So hoping to get this used up at the beginning of the year, obviously, but I mean, we'll see when I can use it up. It's a really great glowy blush. I have it on today with a couple other things, but it's a really good neutral pink base. I can kind of put more orangey blushes over it or more pinky blushes over it. I'm definitely a blush layerer. And I think that's because, I mean, I got into that habit because I've been panning blushes for like two years now. So definitely um, a good a good blush and I do like it. And I do definitely think it's worth the money. I know it's a little bit more expensive. I think it's around $34, but there's a reason that this like has sold out multiple times and that people are on like a waiting list for it. 
it's it's a really good like blush it's really easy to blend it looks absolutely gorgeous yeah no complaints at all I do really enjoy it I just want to get it used up all right next up is the absolutely magic lip gloss this is a bobbi brown oil gloss in the shade free spirit it is this tiny little little baby mini gloss all right i got this as a gift i think two years ago now and it is just a mini sample honestly but this has lasted so long this was in my project last year i think it's been in for four months now and i thought it would be in for like maybe a month I thought I would be pushing it to get it to two and yeah there's no ending on this so it is a really good neutral kind of shade it's good year-round um, I really do like the formula it's super comfortable it has a really good shine to it so I do really like it I just want to get more of my lip products used up I'll be posting a makeup inventory and my inventory goals soon enough and in that video I'll probably talk about how many lip products I have and what I want my goals to be but I have a lot of lip products so I want to start using up a lot of the minis I have especially if they're like older or things like that obviously I can do declutters if you haven't watched my declutter series I'll tag it up here somewhere but a declutter is just not as satisfying as using up products completely especially when they're this small so I definitely want to get this one used up as well all right, and my last product from last year that I'm rolling into this year is of course my Soft Lips Sugar Plum Lip Balm. Um, this is the last Soft Lips Hello Kitty collab lip balm that I have left. I have panned two other ones, um, a peppermint hot chocolate one and a chai apple cider one. And this is the last one. So I wanna get this used up. It's a really good flavor for, or like scent for winter, sugar plum obviously. And I do really, really love this formula. I love soft lips lip balms. I just have a lot of lip balms and I wanna get through those as well. Kind of same with like my lip products in general. So yeah, I am keeping this one in the project and trying to get through more lip balms this year. Cause sometimes those are the most satisfying ones to use up. All right, now all of the products are going to be new products that you haven't seen before if you watch my channel. So the first one I have is actually a glowy primer and this is from Fenty. So this is the Fenty Beauty Ease Drop Lit All Over Glow Enhancer in Pink Pearl. And it is like a glowy face base, basically. I really love it. Um, I will swatch a little bit of it for you, but it is just like this really lightweight formula, if you can see here. And it is just like the perfect pinky kind of glow. You can see there, it is really pretty all over the skin. That's how I use it. I use it as a primer. I love to have a moisturizing primer and then a glowy primer. That is just how I like my primers. I had an e.l.f. glowy base primer in last year, um, and I've just kind of kept with that theme for a long time now of having a moisturizing primer and a glowy primer. My skin is really dry and I like to look really dewy, so those that combination works really well for me. So yeah, I'm going to be keeping this one in, obviously using it up because it is a liquid product. I try to use up my liquid products faster, obviously, than things like a powder. Not that there are like powder primers, but you know what I mean. Um, this is only like 1.2 fluid ounces and it is a really nice like squeezy tube really easy to travel with and it is kind of the perfect shade for me especially in the winter I do tend to have a little bit more of a pink I have like a neutral undertone like actually completely neutral I tend to lean a little more warm neutral because of the hair color I currently have but my natural hair color is much more neutral than this it's not orange it's like a really like you know dark blonde light brown kind of neutral undertone shade so my undertone is actually very very neutral this works really well for the winter because i have more of a little bit more of a pinky undertone in the winter slash just like a little bit more of a pinky undertone in the winter so i wear a lot more silver in the winter i wear a lot of gold in the summer those kind of vibes not that i won't wear gold in the winter or won't wear silver in the summer it just tends to be how i how I function. So this works really well and I would like to get it used up before it's actually summer. So like before like June-ish, um, which I think is more than doable because again, I'm using it as a primer. So I'm using it all over my face every single day. So, but yeah, really like this product. All right, next up is actually a mascara primer. This is from Lancome and this is their mini um, mascara base slash mascara primer. I got this with um, some other mascaras that I bought and I actually just really like a mascara primer. I feel like it actually really helps my lashes look a lot longer. I 
know that you probably can't really see them today but I promise you that it actually does really work and I really like it layered and also I just want to use this up now because it is so small but also because I love the look of a mascara primer like a white mascara on my lower lashes I actually have it on today it defines my lashes without making them like look super intense and I just think it's the perfect like kind of wintry look of having a little bit of a white tinted like lower lashes I don't know but I just really like it and I didn't think I would like it I just kind of tried it on a whim but I do really love it so yeah all right next up is actually a lip liner so this is from Kose this lip liner and it's in the shade Cafe Au Lait and this is really old I don't even know how old it is what I do know is that when I was in high school which was oh goodness I was probably 16 15 or 16 so 10 years ago 10 years ago I stole this from my mom and I don't know when she got it meaning it's like probably like at least at least 10 I mean you know it's at least 10 years old right um but here's what I'll say it doesn't smell off it's still really like creamy it works really well and this is my favorite lip liner ever I have it on today I don't really tend to wear lip liners super often, but I've gotten more into it this year and actually pretty recently, like this winter, I've gotten into it. And this is the one that I use like kind of all the time. It is my most used lip liner. And I just think it is a really good like neutral brown. I will swatch it out for you so that you can see the color. I guess I could probably have done that with the other things too. Maybe I'll, I'll swatch them and then show you. But this is what it's like. So it's like a pink, but it's like a neutral kind of like little bit browned out pink i just think it's so perfect for my lips like it is just a little bit darker than my natural lip color and i am someone that has very like non-pigmented lips so my lips can look really light really like dead not dead but you know what i mean they're just like not super pigmented so even if i'm wearing like a clear gloss like i am today i like to have a lip liner because it just helps define my lips and i just i like the look of it so i've been really enjoying this lately and i when i was thinking about things to pan i have a lot of lip liners that i kind of never get through and i was like well i'd like to get through this lip liner because it is ancient and also because i feel like I could actually use it and I want to see how long it would take to use up a lip liner and I also just love using up pencil products I think it's just like super satisfying to watch them get like smaller so yeah that is why I'm panning this lip liner and I think it'll be a really fun one to pan because I've never panned a lip liner before so I'm really excited about that okay that being said I do actually want to swatch the other things so um this is what the oil gloss looks like this is the oil gloss here um and you can see it is a little bit more of like a warm toned shade than the lip liner but together they're so pretty and basically together they're my everyday lip shade like if i'm not wearing a specific lip gloss lip color this is this is what i'm wearing every single day i love a brown lip especially on my like skin tone and how i kind of dress and things like that i just feel like I like it better than a pink or whatever so i like a brown lip basically is all i'm saying and this combination is perfect for me so that is really nice having basically an everyday lip look in my pan like both products are in my project pan yeah okay more swatches because i realize i've like never even swatched products i don't even think i've ever swatched my lfc tati shadow stick um don't know why but there you go you finally get swatches it, I hope the payoff is worth it if you've been watching me for like two years but this is the LFC Tati shadow stick it is gonna be so it's very similar to my skin color let me see if I can swatch it in a different spot and you can see it a little bit better does that help that helps a little bit okay you can kind of see it, it is definitely taupe um I believe the original color like the shade name is called taupe so it definitely has like a darker base than a normal highlight would but the highlight itself is so reflective that i think it just looks so pretty um on like my lips where i want a little bit more definition or my nose where i want a little bit more definition i do think that like you can't see the grayer base when it's on those two things but that's why if i use it as like an inner corner highlighter it's a little too dark because of that shift um, but I do love the reflection of it and I do think it is really pretty. I do really like it. And I do think that one of the reasons I can use this is again, because I have that neutral undertone. So it definitely works for me and I do like it. 
Um, but yeah, there's the swatch of that that you've never before seen of the LOC Tachi Shadow Stick. So yeah. All right, and then the last thing I haven't swatched yet that I would like to swatch for you is the blush, the Charlotte Tilbury blush. And this will be pretty easy to swatch, all right. So this is what it looks like. It is just kind of a pinky glowy blush. I will blend it out a little bit so you can kind of see what it looks like blended out. But yeah, see, it's like just like the perfect neutral pink and it does have a really good glow to it. You can see it's reflecting off my hand. It has a really beautiful finish, doesn't pick up on texture or anything like that. Um, yeah, really, really love it. So yeah, there you go. Those are the swatches of the things. Maybe I will put them in order. Uh, maybe not, who knows? We'll see what editing Jules does. All right, next up for products is of course a product that I've hinted at panning for a long time now, but this is my last powder. This is my Cody Airspun powder. This is a big girl, okay? She's a big girl. There's a lot of product in here. I don't know if I'll be able to pan this in this year. I, I really don't. It is a loose powder. Cody Airspun powder has been around for over a hundred years and it is a classic. It is you know, just a loose powder. It comes with a lot. It comes with a powder puff too. I got rid of that years ago. But yeah, I want to get it completely used up because it is my last powder and I have had it for a long time. You can find this at most like drugstores and things like that, but it is a really nice powder. It's really lightweight, really fine, and it's really inexpensive for how much freaking powder you get. Um, let's see, what is the weight on this? 65 grams of product. So that's a lot of uh, powder. It is a neutral kind of like completely, it's like a translucent powder basically. It's milled really finely, it's really soft, I do really like it, and I just wanna get through the last powder that I have. So I have started using this since I used up my ColourPop pressed powder, and I do really like it. I have a little mini thing um, to take it traveling, because otherwise this would be a pain in the butt to travel with, it's just so big, but I just am gonna put like a little bit of it in um, like one of those mini makeup containers, you know, the screw top ones. So that's how I'm going to travel with it if you were concerned at all about that. But I do really like this powder and I want to see how much of it I can get used up because at this point you can't even like, there's barely any used up. So I want to see, like I can't see any space in the packaging. So I want to see how much I of it I can get used up this year. I will end up rolling this into multiple years if it takes that long. I've said that before that I will keep this in until it's used up. This might be one of those products that's in for a couple of years, like the LOC Tati Shadow Stick, but using this up will be so satisfying. And I think we'll really show how much product you get and how long it'll take, especially for me. I don't powder my entire face or anything like that. I don't bake. I just really set my under eyes and around my nose a little bit and maybe my chin more so in the summer than in the winter, but sometimes in the winter as well, those kind of things. So. That being said, yes, this will probably be in for a long time. And this is one of those that I don't know if I'll have completely used up by the end of the year. I probably won't, but it'll be a good one to see how much I can get used up. All right, next up is actually a highlighter. And this is from the brand Mud Masky Glam Care. And it's the Glowy Illuminating Blush Drops in the shade Pink Martini. So I actually got this in like a Fat Fit Fun Box. And I will swatch this as well now that I am, I guess, a swatch girly. Um, but basically it says it's like a blush drop, like I, like I said, but I don't use it as a blush. That's what it looks like. Not blended out. Very pink, definitely pink. Um, and then there's it kind of blended. If you notice, it looks very similar to the Charlotte Tilbury Pinkgasm. Um, it is a little bit more liquidy, obviously a little bit less of like a blush. It's definitely like more of a serum formula, but I use it as a highlighter because the glow on it is unreal. Like when you blend it out, it doesn't really have that pink undertone as much. It just is like a really glowy, nice lightweight highlighter. And I think really good for the winter because it keeps my skin looking really like fresh and moisturized. So I have been really enjoying it, especially with the Charlotte Tilbury blush. I just think that combination is so gorgeous and beautiful. I have it on today. Um, I think that my highlighter looks really great. So I have that one in to kind of use up a highlighter because even though it says it's a blush drop, I think it's a highlighter. So I will be using it as such. Also, I will say it dries down really well. Like it's a serum, but it doesn't stay like sticky or tacky. And once it dries down, it is basically just a highlighter with some like pink glow to it. So really love that and definitely will enjoy having those as a combination for as long as they're both in. And also of course, for usual, having a liquid product, I wanna have this used up faster. Um, 
it is only 15 milliliters or 0.5 fluid ounces. So it is not that much product, but I only use it a little bit of it every single day. So we'll see how much this is in, how much of it I can get used up before it's completely used up and how much I can get used up month to month. This is really nice too, because it is a newer product. Like I have only used this for a couple times in the past month. So it's kind of like using a completely full product. And I think this will be really easy to travel with as well. All right. And the very last product of my first 10 for my 2024 rolling 10 project pan is a bronzer. So this is from the balm and this is their bronzilla bronzer. So it comes in recyclable packaging and it is their most famous bronzer. This one, if you have heard the story from my, um, the balm Bahama Mama bronzer, the mini one I used up last year. I actually bought this one in a full size and then the Bahama Mama bronzer is just like a, like, all right, like it's going to be like $5. I guess I'll get that one. And I ended up liking the Bahama Mama bronzer at the time more than this one. And that's because the Bahama Mama bronzer is a little bit warmer and a little bit deeper. So in the summer, it was really perfect. But in the winter, this is like almost a perfect shade for me. So really love this bronzer, this undertone. I think it has the perfect neutral actual undertone, like cause contours can look a little too gray on me and bronzers can look a little too orange on me. Cause again, having that neutral undertone can make bronzers a little bit more tricky, not that much, but especially in the winter, I want something that has more of a pinky undertone. So this is perfect for that. Um, I definitely love using up powders and it's nice that this doesn't even have like a pan in it at all. So I'm going to completely be using this up this year as well and seeing how quickly I can hit pan on it and then how quickly I can get it used up. Um, and if you recognize this palette from when I was using up a highlighter, it fits perfectly in here. So I love to travel with this um, palette. I can put some of my, like these are some Natasha Denona shadows from palettes I have. These are the two remaining Smashbox highlighters that I have and then just a random ColourPop single. But this is what I like to travel with. I can curate specific mini eyeshadows for whatever looks I want to do. I have my bronzer. I have some highlighters. And even though I use this one more as a single shadow, but these have such big dips. I want to eventually pan these as well. So yeah, really love having that be magnetic packaging that I can throw in this Z palette and it just makes it really easy to grab and go for this. So yeah, really love that. Part of me also wants to put maybe like a blush in there eventually. I don't know, I've been thinking about it because I feel like I have some blushes that might have magnetic pans and it'd be so satisfying to just be able to take that as a base product, but I do kind of switch blushes up a lot and I have a lot of mini blushes as well and a lot of liquid and cream blushes. So one of my goals this year is to pan a lot more blushes. I panned two last year and I want to at least do two this year. So the sooner I can get that blush pan the better. Did I do two this last year? No, I think I only did one because then I rolled that one in. I would have to double check. Yeah, I only panned one last year. So I wanna get at least two this year because I have so many blushes. I have a ridiculous amount of blushes. You'll see in the inventory or you'll see when I did my declutter series which again, I, I think I tagged earlier, but I have so many blushes and I feel like I constantly get more. So I want to start using up some of those blushes and two definitely is my goal for this year. All right. With that, that is my initial 10. This is my intro. Those are the products that I am starting out the year with for my 2024 rolling 10 project pan last year in January and February, I didn't use up a single product. And then I felt like I was playing catch up for the rest of the year. So fingers crossed uh, with my first update, I will have used at least one product. That's all I care about having one product used up. I feel like there are a couple that I definitely could maybe we'll see. But with that, thank you so much for being here. If you like this video, please like it. And if you like me, please subscribe and join me here on my channel. I hope you're having a great day, week, month, year, especially new year at this current point in time. I do love the new year. I love new beginnings and yeah. So I hope that you are looking towards this new year with a lot of hope and joy and excitement. If not, I hope that things do get better for you and that you can see that hope and joy and new things on the horizon as they come up for you. But I'm wishing you nothing but the best in this new year. And yeah, thank you so much for being here and I will see you in my next video. Bye friends.